Well, it is now 2.45 in the morning. We have finally got the camp set up. What time are we getting up in the morning? Uh, if I had a good movie on my phone, I might just watch it and stay up. <laughs> but I'm fresh out. <laughs> What did we see? Just nothing. I kind of want to cook something to eat and I kind of just want to take a nap and then do something. Sure, I'm glad we drove all night to get up this morning. Hey, there could have been a big deer there. Could have. There could have. You always got to try, you just got to put yourself out there. And now we're going to take a nap. <laughs> fish and chips first though. It is quiet, stand on. It's extremely quiet. <laughs> there ain't nobody. There ain't even birds. Physically, yes, mentally, no, is that what you said? Why are there does everywhere? Oh, there's a decent buck. Let's get the spotting scope on him. Did you just find a buck? Right when you were complaining about not seeing bucks? Finally. Thought I'd lost my touch, Brady. Is that a different buck? What the frick? Oh yeah, that is a different buck. I think he's bigger. Okay, so that's a solid, like, 165, 174 point. Well said, it's, it's too late tonight, but... So seven bucks turned into 11. I think we should try to hunt them in the morning. That one four point needs to die. For sure. Oh, well, I'd send it. You let that 6.5 PRC bark? <laughs> hmm. Starting to move. A little snow squall, but. Things are looking up. Well, we found some deer we want to go after. We just got to figure out how to get over there. Get closer, navigate around, turn them up, shoot them. Shoot them. Cut them up, pack them out. Easy. So. And who's shooting first? Yeah, right. Depends on how big it is. <laughs> 250 buck, I'm it's whoever shoots first. <laughs> we need some sleep, though. I'm feeling it. Get up. <laughs> Find one like that. <laughs> the yellow. There's two of them now. There's one behind it. The yellow grass. Three of them. Yep, and the yellow. Um, right here, see this ditch, this, this creek that's coming up? This one. Yep. They're walking right to that bare knob behind those little scattered trees. Yeah, there's like three or four of them. I've got a buck over here. He's bedded. I'm trying to figure out if he's worth going after. <laughs> you see uh, this patch of quickies, this closest one, yep. that middle ridge. And you You'll see the black water tank, he's bedded right behind it. We're kind of navigating around some private here, so thanks to Onyx, we know where it is. And we can see the trees on the satellite, so we know exactly where the private line is. But we've got a buck spotted over here that we want to go after. But we got to hike a mile back down, get on the four wheeler, drive around the other side, hike up the mountain, and Hopefully the buck is still glued to the ground so that he's where he's bedded right now. 
and then we're gonna shoot him. He just fell. He's down. I think he's dead. Oh, dude, he, you, you hit him perfect, and it went all the way through his body. Then he got up and just walked over, but he tipped over, and I can see blood all over. Oh, yeah. Can you see him, Brady? Yeah. Is that him? Yes. <laughs> you smoked him. We just gotta go get him. We just gotta go get him. He's dead. We got us a buck, Brady. We got us a buck. Now you get to pack him out. <laughs> Great. Oh, that was a lot bigger. His, his one fork is bigger. Go get him. Hey, nice shot. Thanks, buddy. I'm just the Thanks packer now. Go get him. I'm just here for my looks. Holy f buddy. Austin, you're the man. Know that? Austin. <laughs> dead? Dude. Dude, that's a stud. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Oh my god. That's a heavy old buck. Dude, you're the most selfless freaking guy I know. <laughs> Look at that deer. Look at Jared Lyle on this. <laughs> Holy sh. Oh. Look at his eye guards, I was looking at those, I'm like, dang, they're pretty. And that fourth point was dang hard to see. Thanks, buddy. I'm pretty. Brady? Thanks, yeah. buddy. Oh, you bet. Enhanced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It's pretty hard to tell with these, they're not square. Yeah. Anywhere we're at. No, nothing's running straight. There's no fence lines, no posts. And in Colorado, you have to know where you're at. You can't just see no sign and just go blazing across. Yeah. All next maps. And right now, I have a bar of service, but it won't load. So make sure you have your offline maps because that's what's saving us right now. Well, Austin, you still have a tag, right? Yeah. We going hunting tonight? Uh, yeah. As soon as you pack this buck, <laughs> about 1,500 vertical back to the four wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> In lovely Colorado, they charge you $412 for a tag so that they can afford to print out the tag. Well, yeah, that's fancy waterproof paper, bro. Always carry underwood, Brady. <laughs> I like me some carry underpants.
Yep. Yeah. One down, two and a half to go. Two and a half? Well, yeah. The elk's kind of like half effort. <laughs> What's the other one? My deer. Uh, that makes one and a half to go. No, I meant two and a half because the elk is one and a half effort. Oh. Because they're so big. I see. We're going to drive to the other side of the unit. See if uh, we can spot any elk tonight. Find a spot to hunt in the morning. So here we go. You want to go after elk, not deer? Yeah, why not? them and shoot up because I was saying we could just walk over the top but maybe that's no good. I did not go after the big three. Probably a dumb choice. But we're gonna sneak down here where we can at least be in shooting range of these bucks if they decide to leave the private and uh, come onto forest. Okay, the pup. 
bottom one is the big one. You see the four that are like together? There's a lot of deer there. I know. Damn. I don't know what I did with my phone scope ring. I can't find it. I guess you could film and then watch through the spotter. The heavy one is leading the bunch right now. Let's shoot before he gets to the trees. Okay. Do you want to watch through the spotter? I'd probably better, right? Well, you see that deer above the one with his antlers in the sun? Yeah. Is he not bigger? No. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Fire away. Good hit. A little far to the right. A little right? Yeah. But I think you got him good. I think you got him in the lungs. Is he facing us? Yep. He's looking right at us, stumbling. He's walking down to the right. Got him. Here we go. Smoked him right in the neck. Yeah, buddy. Shoot. I think this was on the camera. I hope it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Atkinson. I smoked him the first shot. Yeah, that he would have died. Was perfect. Yeah. This just made sure that. That was a long shot. That he's not going anywhere. <laughs> How far was that? <coughs> you want the truth? Yeah. Thousand five. Nuts. You, you're crazy, Atkinson. Let me see that scope. Ah, I hope that I got him on the big camera here. I was worried about spotting for you. And I couldn't <laughs> do my actual job. Brady's like, wait, we're going to shoot from here? We just did. <laughs> 6.5 PRC. Dialed 18.9 MOA. On the loophole. Let him have it. It's kind of nice. And you're gonna shoot a long range setup, throw in this big clip, big magazine, sorry. So, it's kind of sweet. Let's go. Pro tip, always mark the spot you shoot from. And when you get over there, you know what the range was from your range finder. So, Onyx will tell you exactly how far away you are from this waypoint. Hmm. Tip. He's upside down, Brady. Dead buck. This thing's beautiful. Beautiful. Damn. Beautiful. Heavy, huh? Thousand five yards, if you can believe it. Where is our nearest road? It's behind. See that dark hillside? Yeah. Beyond that in the valley. Nail. That's good. If you don't finish your steak the night before, pack it on the mountain so that you got some good fuel. Goodbye, huh? Yeah, it's really good. Look here, Atkinson. This buck's too big. We're gonna have to start cutting points off to get them to fit. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a stick for you. <laughs> 